To automate and test email communication in your Tracentis Tosca testing project, you can make use of the standard mail modules. With these modules, you can send emails and verify the content of received emails. But to do this, you must always start by connecting to a mail server. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the Connect to Mail Server module in a test case. On screen, you can see that there is an X test step named Connect to Mail Server, in which we have multiple X test step values. So let's look at each one by one. First, we have connection name. This X test step value shows the ID of the resource to be created. Here, you can pass any string and you can reuse this connection in any X test step. For now, I'm passing sample connection. Second, we have the mail server. Here, you have to enter the network identifier of the email server. If you don't know it, please talk to your IT department. For me, it is outlook.office365.com. Third, we have our username. Here, you have to pass a username or email address for connecting to the mail server. In my case, this is tricentisdummy at outlook.com. Next, we have the password. Here, you will enter the password for connecting to the email server. I'm entering my dummy password. After that, we have the port. Here, the port number of the email server should be entered. As a next step, we have enable security. This X test step value is used for secure connections. You can select either true or false. For a secure connection to the email server, select true. Otherwise, select false. And last but not least, we have the protocol. Select the protocol for communicating with the email server. In the value range, you can see IMAP, SMTP, POP3. All right. Now let's execute it. And as we can see, it executed just fine. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.